Hey guys, welcome back to Living Gratefully. We are on our way to Ocean Isle for a little getaway. But before we go, I wanna wipe the counters and do a little vacuum in here because last night the kids came over. We hung out around the table for several hours. Our friend Maddie came over for coffee. We so much enjoyed ourselves, but it was late and we didn't feel like cleaning up the kitchen and all that. So I'm gonna do that right now. Scott actually already did the dishes. We're gonna pack up the car and the coolers and everything. We're gonna head on to the beach. Here we go. Let me feel your love again Cause I've been running round in circles Screaming out your name Take me to a different place Just the two of us and we can stay up all night Kissing under street lights Doing what we want to Doing what we need to do Staying up all night Everything is alright Oh, I wanna be with you Barbecue. And I'm trying the new home style Rice Krispie Treats and they're really good. I'm we'll stopping to get a little gas and I got me a McDonald's drink. It's a medium iced mocha and we're in Warsaw and we went to that McDonald's right there. They were playing Christian music in there. Is that not the coolest thing? People who aren't afraid to be happy about Jesus, so to Jesus. I bet you'll come around, but don't get me wrong. Do what you gotta do, do what you gotta do. I feel it in my bones like you'll come along now. Maybe you come through. This was our first time visiting Ocean Isle Beach, and we are so in love with this beach. We love Oak Island. That's where we got married and it holds a special place in our hearts. We now have a new beach to visit. We will definitely be visiting again and again. And we even talked about how this would be a great retirement town. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. This is good. This is good. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. It's gorgeous. Wow. All right. This is the master. It has a queen bed and some towels for us. That's nice. I like this light colored furniture, got a TV, and that window, maybe it's a fake window? Wait, let's see. Oh, you can actually see the pool. scale for this too. Won't be needing that. <laughs> We're on vacation. I like these quilts. That's pretty. Big mirror. And I think you'll probably be able to see the pool from here too. Yep. This is the washer and dryer. Full size. That's really nice. Alright, we're 
taken out to dinner. It's a little chilly, so I have a little jacket from Sam's on, and I have my shoes from Walmart. I'll show you here in a minute, but it's just windy here at the beach, but we're gonna go get some food. It's the beach. Who cares yeah. if it's windy? <laughs> Did you ever stop and think why spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest. I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make you notice me Let me be real here When I see you my heart starts racing But I don't know if I like this chasing And playing and waiting around It's a shame that my hands start shaking All of the time when you're around me Here we are at Sharky's, our first dining experience at Ocean Isle, and we love this restaurant so much. We actually tried to eat there again during our stay, but they weren't open again while we were there just because of off-season. We had the grouper bites as our appetizer here at Sharky's and they were so delicious. Our other food was really good too, but the grouper bites stood out as a favorite for us. And next time we will definitely be sitting outside here. Check out this view. And I love this sign, meet your circle of fins here. Doesn't that just make you want to go there and hang out? I do it all with you by my side. If you're in need, me here tonight. Be brave and come along. We were so blessed to be able to see this breathtaking sunset on our very first night when we were checking out the island and heading to Publix to grab a few things. What'd you get, baby, at the store? <laughs> Smile. <laughs> and I got a necklace. Isn't that pretty? North Carolina, and what does it stand for? Ocean Isle Ocean Beach. Fish Company. Oh, Fish Company. Ocean Isle Pe Fish Company. Fish Company. Yeah. And yep. I got a little wave on my necklace. All right. We're going to the store to get some creamer, coffee creamer, and ice cream. <laughs> and maybe a six some pack of my, beer. yeah, a little beer. And then some of my Lysol cleaner because I need to, you know, be able to clean the kitchen counters and stuff like that. And we have a little list. So. Good morning, guys. It's about 10.30 on Sunday. And we're gonna head out and get some lunch. I'm hungry, we have to wait. The place doesn't open until 11.30, but um, I'm ready to go see a shop and then head over and get some lunch. And we'll probably come back here and park it out on the beach. It's about 70 degrees and cloudy, but it's not raining. Vacation without rain. Grateful for that. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. Look at the sun peeking out. We waited outside for the restaurant to open. They had a nice area to hang out and the parking lot was filling up before it even opened. So you know that's a good sign. We started with the fried squash appetizer with ranch dressing and then we both had shrimp sandwiches and the shrimp was very tasty and fresh. We loved sitting outside and check out this view. It was perfect.
that lunch was good. It was tasty. The shrimp was really fresh. The view was amazing. The waitress was really nice and fun. What do you think, baby? It was good. Everything was good. Everything was good. So now we're going to head and do a little shopping just at some of the local beachy shops and we'll take you along with us. can't believe how big this store is. I love that you can get everything you need here. It's clean, neat, and well stocked, and the staff was super friendly. And I mean, if you need a float, I've never seen so many floats. So now back at the condo and it's time to pack up to hit the beach. I picked up this bag at Walmart a few days before our trip and I did take the tags off when I found some scissors but I love how it has a little cooler at the bottom and then at the top you can have your snacks, your phone, and your sunscreen. And these ice cream sandwiches, yummo. Have you tried them? They have different flavors, but I honestly don't need to try any other flavor. This combo was perfect. It had strawberry ice cream, a thin layer of chocolate, and it was on a vanilla waffle cone type of sandwich. It was so good. Every morning we enjoyed our coffee and view on the balcony and there was even a visitor down below waiting for some food. We didn't feed the fox but you can tell he or she gets fed frequently. Just as sweet and calm and waiting for a little treat to be dropped. Just like a pet. Apparently this is a common sight on the island and they are said to be friendly. I love this towel so much and I just wanted to share it with you guys but I haven't seen them at Walmart this year. If you see one snag it up and also let me know because I'd love to have a few more. It's really huge and it's like a big microfiber towel so it's soft and super fast drying. It's like the best towel ever. Tell everybody where we're going baby. The purple onion. What you gonna get? Salad. We've been eating really unhealthy. A bunch of fried stuff and I got a feeling pizza. though when we get there we'll probably get a salad and maybe split some kind of sandwich. Yeah, that sounds good too. That's still pretty healthy. So it is a gorgeous day. I still have long sleeves on because I'm scared I'm gonna get cold in the restaurant, but I do have shorts on, which is a big deal for me to wear shorts in April. So yay, we're at the beach. Let's go eat. Taking my hand, leading the way, staying the night Looking at you, making your moves, there is no silence
Scott had a way to set our plates up so we could share our food. He made me laugh. This lunch was fresh and delicious, exactly what we wanted. And it's a bakery as well. So they had these yummy treats that you could have at the end of your meal or take with you to have on the beach. We stopped by the Ocean Isle Fish Company to eat sushi outside. Look at this amazing view. I loved how much we got to enjoy the outdoors on this trip. loved this little shop. We actually did quite a bit of shopping in this store a little bit each day. We kept going back because we liked it so much. After our sushi dinner and a little shopping, we took a stroll down to the island point and saw the most beautiful, peaceful sunset. We also ran into a few gnats, so in a little bit you'll see us swatting at them. We drove down to Calabash for a bagel breakfast at the Bagel Dot Cafe, but first we drove around to see all the restaurants in the area. It's so cool that they're all there together.
I love a good bagel and we also picked up some chicken salad to snack on and these bagels were softer than any bagel I've ever had. Fresh and soft and chewy and yummy. Again, loved being outside and just enjoying that sunshine and beautiful weather at the beach. Guys, after breakfast, we just hung out here at the condo. We didn't even hit the beach. We just needed a little downtime, some rest. I did a little online looking, not really shopping, just looking. Now we're gonna head out and do a little shopping. We'll bring you along with us. And then we're gonna have late lunch, early dinner, out at a little shack. Hopefully we can eat outside. Let's go. if you want to say the name of it. If you want to say... <laughs> Why? If you want to say the name of the... Cute. If you want to say the name of the town, it's Shalote. Shalote. I just had to share some of the interesting things I saw at Ulta. First, this is a really nice Ulta, well stocked and everything. I mean, have you ever seen so much dry shampoo? And check this out, soothing butt butter. Have you ever seen this? The container is so pretty that it drew me in and it looks like cotton candy. And now they have lotion with CBD in it. I, did, I had not seen that. Had you guys seen that? And now at Marshall's, I didn't buy a dress because I couldn't try anything on, but I thought I'd show you what I did see. And when we got back home, I bought a dress at Maurice's that I wore to the wedding. Okay, I bought a few things at Ulta and found one thing at Marshall's. Scott didn't find anything, but it's time to eat. So we are doing our four o'clock early dinner at a waterfront seafood shack. In Calabash. Yeah, and so we'll show you what it looks like. It looks so cute. We're gonna sit outside and have some seafood. Let's go see what it looks like. This seafood dinner out on the dock was amazing. And the dessert too was grilled pound cake with butter pecan ice cream. We have been talking about this meal for the last month. Again, the staff were so friendly and we honestly can't wait to go back. After that delicious dinner and while we were still in Calabash, we stopped by this humongous store. We didn't even get to see the whole thing. It's just huge. Yeah. 
This was a great little getaway for us. We stayed four nights and it was perfect to unwind and enjoy a little sun and sand to kick off the summer vibes. If you have any questions on what we ordered, where we ate, where we stayed, or anything at all, just leave us a comment below. We read all of our comments and we love getting to know you guys. We have several travel vlogs, so I'll leave that playlist down below in the description box if you want to catch up on where we've been traveling. We actually traveled more during the pandemic than we ever have before. That's mainly because of the stage of life we're in. We are empty nesters now, so we are able to do a little more traveling and we also have a variety of other videos like cleaning and DIY projects, haul videos, cooking with Kathy videos, makeup and hair, a little bit of everything. So if you're not already subscribed, please join the Living Gratefully YouTube fam by hitting that red subscribe button. We'd love to have you. And another bagel for breakfast. This one was more the traditional New York style and I loved it. I actually love both types of bagels. There's nothing like a fresh, good bagel. I wish we had fresh bagel shops like this in our town, but we don't. So I guess that just means we have to go back to the beach. And this coffee shop was so cool. It was huge and they had merch and lots of places to sit and hang out and fresh baked goods too. We love provisions in Southport, North Carolina. I mean, love. You guys probably already know that if you've been following us for a while. It's like our favorite beachy restaurant and the whole family has several t-shirts from there. But we wanted to give this provisions a try here in Holden Beach since we were so close by and we have friends who visit this provisions every year and they love it. And I had the grilled shrimp burger and Scott got his usual grilled tuna sandwich with a cucumber salad. About to leave Already packing all right that's it guys we are headed home leaving the beach we ended our trip here at provision company in holden beach and now we're headed home it's a sad day but we had a great time and love ocean isle so we'll see you next time bye life with no distractions we'll get away this is what we waited